What's good YouTube, it's your boy Cash Cup Productions back with another vlog and today we're going to talk about a few filmmaking gear that I bought really for no reason, you know, it's just shit that I bought that I've never used or just shit that's been sitting around. Um, you know, it's some of this gear I thought I really needed it. I would be on YouTube watching other filmmakers. I see that they got all this gear and then, you know, I felt like if I had this gear, then I feel like my videos would be better. When in reality, I got the gear, most of, most of the shit that I showed you, I got it. Threw it in the closet, never used it. Probably brought it to a shoot, never used it. Took it out the bag, opened it up, flexed it with a little bit, but I never used it. So we're gonna go over just a few, few of the gear that I got that I regret buying. All right, so first off, we have this Z Grip. It was about $20 online. Uh, basically, you put your camera on here, and then it has a, a shoe mount where you can put either a microphone or a light. Real low key thing. Stabilization really is not too much. It's really if you wanna get in, if you're in a closed area, I've seen a lot of people that do skateboarding videos, they have things like this. Why I got this, I don't know. I used it a couple times when I went to go record somebody in a club. But other than that, I really didn't use it. And as you can see, it broke too. So, I mean, it's a really, real cheap thing. And, you know, once, once I got it, I really just stowed it away in the closet. So, this was number one on the list uh, as far as useless filmmaking gear I have. All right, number two is this time-lapse remote and as you can see the plastic is still on it because I never used it I did not learn to use it really I forgot who I seen make a time-lapse video that made me want to get this um, when I really didn't need to use it like I can make a time-lapse by just you know just recording video and just letting my camera sit there I don't need a remote a fancy remote to, to do this um, I would tell y'all how to use this, but I really don't know how to use it. And by the way, um, we got this red light. I'm in the dark because we're working on my low light videography. So bear with me. If I don't like it, might not do it. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. So back to this time lapse remote. Um, never used it, not once. Never plugged it into my camera. It was about 30, 25 or 30 bucks. Never used it. Probably gonna sell it. Don't know how to use it. Don't have no intentions on using it. Useless filmmaking gear number two right here. All right, so number three is this Feel World seven inch external monitor. Self-explanatory monitor, camera monitor. Put it on your shoe mount. You can see everything. Uh, you can also put it on a tripod or a camera stand so you can see yourself. I really only use this when I'm vlogging. I never use this for a shoot or anything like that. I tried to use it and hook it up to my Zayun crane, but I don't know, apparently the the little bottom part that I have doesn't fit onto the crane, so I never really used it unless I was really vlogging. Um, I just set it up and then look at myself and vlog, but other than that, I never used this. I had this for about two and a half years. I think the main reason why I didn't use it is it's kind of big and bulky, and I had a Sony a6300, which was small, so like this was pretty much bigger than the camera. So I really had no intention on using it. It just looked crazy. Um, I don't have my camera right now, so I can't really show you, but it just looked crazy, you know, just sitting on top of the Sony A63. It just looked crazy. So I really, I used it somewhat, like I said, for vlogs and stuff, but I got my brother now for the vlogs. So I really don't need to look at myself anymore. It doesn't matter. He's gonna tell me if I look stupid or not. Uh, so yeah, shout out to my little brother. But useless filmmaking gear number three was this external monitor. Why I got this, like I said, I'm, I'm on YouTube, I'm watching these other filmmakers and how they do their content and things, and then sometimes, you know, I just get inspired and just go on an Amazon shopping spree. You should see my Amazon card, that shit looks crazy, but useless filmmaking gear number three. Okay, number four, and this one isn't really mine, but, you know, I like to say it's mine because I'm the older brother, so it's mine. So. Useless filmmaking gear number four, I would say, is this GoPro, this is GoPro 4, right? Yeah, GoPro 4, um, shoots 4K, it's a good camera. Uh, my little brother used it for a vlog, went underwater and shit like that. Me personally, I never used it, why? It's because I feel like everything that this GoPro can do, my camera can do, other than the go in the water part, but I have a car mount, I can strap it onto the car. Uh, I can strap my camera onto a car. This, you know, I really have no use for this, which is kind of why I gave it to my little brother. This is just something that I don't need, man. Um, did not buy it, though. It was a gift. But, you know, I'm kind of thinking of using it one day, you know. Have my girl come over and just 
You feel me? <laughs> no. <laughs> but no. Nah. But yeah, I don't I don't remember how much this was. It was about 200 250 200 250 dollars You can use it in the water, you can use it anywhere, strap it on. It comes with a whole bunch of things. It was actually a kit. Um but this is all I have right now. This and this little strap. Um, so useless filmmaking gear number four is this GoPro. So what did I learn after this video? Um, I waste a lot of money on stupid shit. You know, I like to spend, you know, I feel like getting all this camera gear is gonna make my videos better when in reality, it's really the creative mind that, that makes the video actually what it is. So, you know, what I aim to do is just, you know, just save my money, you know, only buy necessities what I need you know I'm gonna stop watching other people's videos and feel like oh if they have it and their video is like this then if I get it my video is like this and you know it doesn't doesn't work like that so what I aim to do is just you know stay in my own lane you know get everything that I need um, and then if I don't need it and if I'm not gonna use it later on you know I'm just gonna go rent it like another thing that I would have said is a useless uh, filmmaking gear that I have is my drone Cause I really never use my drone other than you know specific shoots um, when I'm traveling. But like I said, it's hard to carry that big drone around. So you know, I'd rather not even I'd rather not even do it. I want to get like a Mavic or something. But then there I go again. You know, saying things that I think I need when in reality I could just go travel and then go rent a drone and then fly and then put everything on the camera and then you know saves traveling, saves extra baggage. You know, all type of things like that. So. 2020, I'm aiming to save money. You know, I'm not worried about what these other cameramen have. Just focusing on myself, my creativity, um, just building as a whole, and then, you know, just make use of everything that you have. Because I remember when I first started this camera shit, I had nothing, you know, it was just a camera and just a microphone. I didn't have anything else. So, you know, if you're watching this and you just have a camera, that's good enough. You know, go out there, make videos, do what you gotta do. That's That's more than enough, really. Cause some people don't even have cameras they're using their iphone like i said man just go out there use whatever you have build you know and then keep investing into your brand and if you don't need it just rent it simple as that it's been your boy cash cut i'm out